Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be testing out Gran Turismo 7 with the Logitech G923 racing wheel and driving force shifter. I'll include links in the description of all the products I'll be showing today. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. I've got my Logitech G923 with pedals and shifter set up on my Track Racer Sim cockpit. This is a TR120 and just a note there's two versions of this wheel, one for the PlayStation and the other for Xbox. But obviously this is the PlayStation version as Gran Turismo 7 is an exclusive title on there. This wheel is compatible with both the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 and a PC. I've got the wheel connected directly to my PS5 console, which is plugged into my LG C1 OLED TV. So let's turn on my PS5 and the wheel starts to calibrate. Next, we assign the wheel as a controller by pressing the PS logo on there. And now we can sign in. I've purchased a digital copy of Gran Turismo 7 and it's good that it's available on both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So on my PS5, it occupies a massive 100 gigabytes of storage. So let's start up Gran Turismo 7. And if you're starting this up for the first time, you'll initially get asked to adjust display settings. And then if we want to prioritize frame rate or ray tracing, then we have exposure and saturation settings. Now we have the music rally, which is just a racing mini game. Next onto the steering controls and you'll notice the wheel isn't mentioned here. Just select left stick and on the pedal controls, just go for the recommended R2, L2 buttons. Assist preset selection, I'll go for intermediate. Going into options, controllers, vibration function. Now this relates to the controller and makes no difference on the wheel. So for instance, changing vibration strength did nothing on the wheel. Coming back from there, you can see a couple of wireless controllers and different wheels. Scrolling down, you have the Logitech G923 in there. And this is where you can reassign the buttons on the wheel. And there's lots of different options available as you can see here. Starting up a race, let's briefly look in assist settings. You can select gears to be manual or automatic, which is nothing new. So let me flip over to manual, but there's nothing saying manual with clutch as this is dependent on the car you're driving in the game. And flipping over to controller settings, you can see force feedback max torque is five and force feedback sensitivity is five by default. These can be taken to 10 and this does make a difference in force feedback intensity. Now testing out the gears, they work perfectly as you can see me shifting through them. Next onto the paddle shifts and they're working as expected. And like I said, the clutch is really dependent on the car you're driving in the game. Clicking the plus or minus allows you to get into a few of the settings of the car. But remember, not all cars will have all these settings available. And then using the dial, you can make adjustments just like you would in Gran Turismo Sport. Now let's jump into a race. It all seems to be working perfectly, including the rev counter, Checking Logitech's website, there's no mention of support for Gran Turismo 7, and I'm not entirely sure if True Force is supported on the wheel, but when it is supported in games, there's normally an option to turn it on or off. Feedback from the wheel is good and responsive, and internally it works via gears and cogs to give you an immersive racing experience. You can feel the different road surfaces when you come off the track, together with any knocks or bumps coming through to the wheel and you get a good amount of force feedback when going around corners, which just adds to the realism. So for a budget wheel, it performs well. And if you're looking to get into sim racing, it's a great wheel to start off with. So there you have it. You made it to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone wondering if the Logitech G923 and shifter will work with Gran Turismo 7. Details for all the items I've shown today are in the description below. And if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of my next release. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.